gracious me! Don't gamble with FIFA points, head straight to the source at u7bike.com and if you use the code TVM at the checkout, you'll get yourself a discount. Link in the description. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to the Road to Glory. It's rewards time. I need to pack an inform out of my rewards today, so let's claim the division rival rewards. This should be rank 2, and it is indeed. This is rank 2, division 3, I think. Not too far away from division 2 as well. Uh, let's... Oh wait, what? Oh, that's shocking. Did I not get this last week? Prime mixed players packs. Two 55Ks and then two pr prime mixed players pack and then four 15Ks. That's shocking. Like, I'd rather Division 4 rewards. Like, that's unreal. Uh, anyway, let's claim our Foot Champions rewards. I finished Elite 1. Uh, I'm going to take that. <clears throat> and uh, what do we get? A, a 35K. I've, I've only ever finished Silver 1 once before. I literally stopped for those wondering. Um, I regret, I, as soon as I entered, I was like, oh, shit, I regret that, I wish I'd never done it, and, um, yeah, I, I just played to, so that I could get auto qualification next week, or this Friday, tomorrow, in fact, on stream, we're going to be playing a lot of games, and I'm going to try and get, uh, I'm, I'm just going to try and play all the games this weekend, if I can, and we'll see where we finished, but, um, we get one player pick, we get three choices, of course. So everyone seems to think I'm going to get Marquinhos. I reckon I'm going to get absolutely shafted and get nothing. But then I don't deserve anything because it's silver one, right? So let's get it open. That's all right. 90 rated. I said beforehand if I get a 90 rated card, I'll take it. It's a shame it's not Gignac. It's a shame it's not Mena or Mina or whatever his name is. But um, I'm all right with that. Silver one. Can't complain. And uh, we just throw down the club. We've got a lot of packs to open. Back up to 680k. Oh, a walkout and a 15k. Go on, be blue. It's not blue. Is it a... Not an inform. Okay. German left wing. Oh, Sane. Nice. Nice, nice. I mean, it's not a big boy. It's not tradable. But it is SBC Fodder. And uh, a walkout and a 15k pack is uh, is never a bad thing. Uh, the second and final prime mixed players pack. Thus proving... That, oh, there we go. We've got a board. I was going to say thus proving that uh, rank 2 div 3 is actually terrible. But, uh, oh, no, it is. Never mind. Never mind. That's worth money, though. Are they now worth about 3.5, 4K? Jesus wept. Uh, let's do the small prime goal players pack next because you never know. Nope, you do know. Oh, we get a board. Oh, it's an inform. Come on, B82. B I don't even know what was well, a Chinese one, so it's not going to be 82, is it? It's going to be 75. Yep. I knew it. Oh, well, an inform's an inform, but I need, I need a little bit more. I need Iniesta, basically. Walkout inform would be insane. Uh, I mean, it's not bad for a small prime. Let's do the 35k pack, and then we'll do the jumbo premium, I think. Let's get this 35. Let's get this cheeky little Ronaldo pack open. No walkout. It's losing its status. It really is. We got a board though. Brazil centre back. It's gonna be Miranda, 85 rated. I. That's. It is tradable. Yeah, I'm gonna sell that. I think. Because I think he's about 20, 25. So that's money in the bank. Let's do the jumbo premium gold players. This is the final tradable pack that we have. Can we get a cheeky little walkout? No, thanks, EA. Love it board inform don't be 75 rated spanish center back i have no idea oh dear it doesn't look good 78 Oz osmar he's got good physicals and that's literally all he's got going for him but we got the informs i've been crying out for informs unfortunately they're all really low rated if i could get one thing that's realistic iniesta's inform or uh paulinho's inform would be Phenomenal. Let's open the first 55k. Both of these are untradeable, by the way. No walkout. We do get a board. It is uh, Biperin. Oh, it's always Viviano. Generally, I've not spent money on this SBC. It's been all pack pulled and SBC related stuff gone into it. But uh, 
That, my friends, is Patrick Vieira complete. I told you I would get it done before Weekend League, and I didn't even believe it myself, but there we go. We've just completed Patrick Vieira. I'm happy with that. That means Gerard drops to the bench. Vieira slots in. I've not used him before, so I don't know what to expect from this. I've not I didn't even do the loan like normally when all the loan icons came out, I did them all and reviewed them all right, but I didn't do this to my knowledge. I don't think I did anyway. Uh, and we've got a jumbo premium gold players pack to open as well. Come on. Kick me off on the other one. Give me give me a walkout. There you go. There's a walkout. It's blue. Be French League. You know you want to. It's Brazilian. Oh, that is unbelievable. Go on, mate. Patrick Vieira has just gifted me Thiago Mendes. That drops. Get in my belly. Exactly. Get in my belly. Exactly. That Right, Vieira's dropped to the bench. He can go in an SBC now. And we're going to use Thiago Mendes this weekend. That's, that's fantastic. I don't know how much he's worth. But... Those packs are awful normally. I mean, they're horrendous, but that is brilliant. What a pack that is. Oh! Oh! Well, well, well. I mean, I could sell him and buy Yari Lippmann right now, right? But Or I could use him. Who knows? 375,000 coins. Ooh! And now that's done, we can turn our attention to more important matters. Yari Litmanen. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get him. Right, it's going to happen. I will. I'm going to set myself a, a target. If I can see him on the market for less than 430-ish thousand coins, he's mine. And I know you're thinking, well, he's up there for 620. There's no way you're going to get him for that. He's been on the market for that in the past, and it's a very similar situation to the Foot Birthday Bail. I'd seen Foot Birthday Bail up there for about 1.4. He's actually down now for about 1.4 just to buy normally. Uh, but I'd seen him at 1.4, and then people started listening for 1.8 and 2 mil. And I thought, no, I'm going to wait until I get him for 1.3. And eventually, I did. Yari Lippmanen has been up there for 400-ish loads of times and I've never just taken the plunge I will now as soon as I see him for around 430 so we're waiting on that the team as it stands looks like this now Vieira slotted in there instead of Steven Gerrard Mendes is currently on the bench although Mendes will actually play instead of Vieira and I'll swap Vieira and Firmino around just for a few rival games to get his review done if I find that he's the best card I've ever used obviously he will stay however I think he's probably going to go because he sells for, well, I mean, I checked him just a second ago. And there you go. 398,000 is the cheapest. It's about to expire, to be fair. But still, for around 400k, I'm more than happy to get rid of him. And most people would have opened their rewards by now. So I should be able to get roughly that price, which is sensational. But that team is now on the brink of what else is there left to do. Now... Yeah, Ronaldo could do with an upgrade, but on PC, unfortunately, uh, the upgrade to that Ronaldo, the next cheapest is just stupid. It's astronomical. We're looking at like 3 mil for, for any upgrade over that Ronaldo. I don't know how much this Ronaldo is selling for, but the one above that, even the 95, if there is a 95, is like 3 mil, 4 mil. So there's just no point. I can't. That, that Ronaldo is staying, and we're not going to upgrade it because I can't. Now, that Van Dyke is upgradable. He still sells for about 150k, so we could sell him if we really wanted to. The the Van Dijk I would want to replace him with, I think, is the road to the final. Now, I know that that's technically speaking the third best, because there is a team of the year and a team of the season above that, but they are literally 1.52 mil coins. That, to me, is excessive. Uh, having said that, though, the road to the final is still about a mil, maybe just under. I think I've seen him for about 900,000, so if I, again, like the, the, the Lippmann and the Gareth Bale... If I shop round and I, you know, bide my time, I might be able to get him for about 900k. That is the only logical upgrade to this team without going to the likes of Hullet or, you know, R9 or something. Now, in terms of those type of players, Hullet is so expensive that I, I genuinely don't want to even attempt it. I picked out three players that I would consider going for. And they are Ronaldinho, Eusebio, and Johan Cruyff. Now, Ronaldinho is an interesting one because he's the cheapest of the three, although he is still expensive as hell. But he's the cheapest of the three. 
However, he is a left wing and literally doesn't fit my team. It would mean putting someone off chem again or getting rid of foot birthday bail and just getting like the 89 UCL bail. I don't want to do that because I love foot birthday bail. So that's probably not going to happen. He would be a super sub. That to me is a waste. So what's the point? Eusebio is a very good shout. Insane card. Don't have any complaints with that at all. But this card is the best card I've used in FIFA. He is absolutely insane. His ball control is better than anyone else's ball control in the game. And you can't really argue with that because he's got 99 for everything apart from agility and balance. Uh, I, I just love it. I think that's one of the best cards, if not the best card in, in any FIFA that I've ever used ever. So... The issue I have is that that is a very expensive SBC. I mean, you're looking at, what, an 89, 288s, 287s, I think it's 386s, it is indeed, an 85, and then an 84, 83, and then the Icon and World Class. I'm well on my way, though, because I've done these two. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do World Class for an Icon for tomorrow, so we can get a rare Electrum Players Pack out of it. It doesn't cost anything bar the two informs, which we already have. So that's kind of why I want to do it, not because I want to start a new inform, uh, new icon. But I suppose the question I'm asking you guys is, should I go for Johan Cruyff or would it make more sense to go for someone a little bit cheaper because this is going to take ages? My logic behind this, by the way, and I know a lot of you are like, no, don't do it because Team of the Season is finishing. It's going to take you harder to generate the players or take you longer and, and be harder, blah, blah, blah. Listen to this, though, right? I've got a funny feeling footies is going to kick off as soon as team of the season finishes. Also, not necessarily with footies, but maybe straight after footies. They did something last year called Festival of Foot or Fut. And that basically meant that every special card went back into packs. Like, for instance, this year we'd have foot birthday cards, carnival cards, headliner cards, informs. Just man of the matches, all sorts of crazy stuff. Everything back in packs. Like every pack you open is going to be like a, a rainbow blowing up in your face. There's going to be so many different colored cards in there. It's going to be crazy. Now, I do League SBC method and I can be quite aggressive with it. And I can generate a lot of packs very, very quickly. So if they do that, I have such a good opportunity to pack so many high rated things. Meaning this Johan Cruyff could be literally done within a week or two if they do that. And in the meantime... We can just chip, chip away at it. That's my thought process. If they don't do it, then yeah, maybe we've wasted our time. But ultimately, if I don't do it, what else do I do? What's the point going after Ronaldinho just to have him on the bench? Eusebio is a good card, but if I'm going to do that, in my opinion, I might as well go for a player that I actually really want, and that's Cruyff. The other icons, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of great ones here. Ronaldo, he's even more expensive. Uh, Hullet and Pele are obviously even more expensive again. Maradona, I don't particularly want. Lineker, for instance. If I got Lineker, who does he replace? No one. He does. He gets on my bench, maybe, if he's lucky, and he comes on now and again. And it's the same for the majority of these players. They are literally just, most of them are just fodder. Now, don't get me wrong, they're good cards. If you've got these in your team, I'm not discrediting them or saying that they're rubbish. I'm just saying that I don't want to play them over the players I have in my team already. I'm happy with my team and I like my team. So the rest of these players are, to me at least, irrelevant. Maldini was one I was considering, but it would mean getting rid of Blanc. And then, you know, it's a minimal upgrade, isn't it? I don't want to get rid of Van Dijk, so what's the point? So, for me, it's Cruyff, Eusebio or Ronaldinho. But I'm just wondering whether there's any point in Ronaldinho because it would literally be a bench player. So, answers on a postcard, please. Put your put your comments down below. Now, marquee matchups is an interesting one because all these Chinese league players seem to be selling for around 800 to 1,000 coins. Now, I've only just done the Chinese league, so pretty much everything that I have left, and I have barely any players that left at the moment, but everything I have left from the Chinese league right now is either stuff that I've literally just packed or it tends to be sort of fodder really it's stuff that doesn't get used in the in the method so for instance this guy there's a player there's a gold card right wing or i just don't need him for whatever reason so he is currently up on the market what 650 just listed seven minutes ago if i want to make money from him just list him for 600 coins and he should sell and a lot of like i think the center mids are selling for more than any other position so there you go 700 coins literally just listed there's no doubt in my mind that he will sell 
because I've literally just sold one of his teammates actually for 850. You would have just seen it. So if I list him for 800, someone buys that guy and then he'll buy mine. Uh, I'm guessing centre backs are going to be going for a fair bit as well. Literally just listed for 700 coins. These don't get used anyway, so I'll list it, literally list mine for 800 and theoretically should sell. But I mean, every pack, every bronze pack that I open normally has at least one Chinese league player in it. Nearly every other, to be honest. Uh, let's open a couple just to see if we can get uh, get lucky or just for me to prove my point. Now, every pack that I have there is going to get opened tomorrow. Tomorrow is the ultimate team of the season, obviously. And I'm going to go a bit crazy with it. I'm going to complete as many... There you go. There's a squad fitness right there. So that is instantly 1,400 coins. And we can get rid of that, get rid of that. And this should sell because, again, marquee matchups... Okay, 500, a little bit less, but um, marquee matchups requires MLS players. So he should be able to go for 450 relatively quick. And uh, we're making money already. But I opened quite a few of these earlier just to test my luck to see if I could get some Chinese league players. I didn't get one in about 10 packs. So technically speaking, that's 11, now 12 packs without getting a Chinese league player. Which I find to be a little bit crazy. And it, it comes round to, have EA altered the pack weight because they know Chinese league players are going to be selling for a lot. Now, I've already packed an MLS. There you go. There's my first one in 13 packs. Finally. And he sells for about 900 coins. If anybody ever needed proof as to whether the bronze pack method is a viable option for making coins, yeah. Yeah, it is, because uh, all those <coughs> cards there are useful for something, even if they aren't uh, League SBC worthy. Uh, we'll actually use those in marquee matchups later, and there you go. Now, the packs that I'm storing, or stacking, I should say, will be open tomorrow. Like I said, I've got 28 so far. There's five to come from marquee matchups, and I have two leagues left to finish, and re-rinse, and then any sort of stragglers behind that. So I'm kind of hoping to have around 70 to 100 packs and there you go. He did sell for 800 coins. So I knew what I was talking about. So hopefully tomorrow we can pack something decent from the ultimate team of the season. Rest of the world should be dropping as well. So that could bring us some decent Chinese league packs or players, sorry. So Hulk and Taliska maybe. Uh, but ultimately the question of this episode is Cruyff or no Cruyff? Because at the moment I don't really see an awful lot more I can do. If EA bring out some madness SBCs over the next few days... My attention will turn to those, of course, and I'm not saying that I'm going to stop doing, say, for instance, we decide to do Cruyff. I'm not going to stop doing him completely just because I've picked up someone else. I will eventually get it done. It's just a case of if they release something along the way, maybe we stop doing that. We put it on pause. It's just something that we work towards ongoing until something better or something else comes along that tickles our fancy. Let me know down below whether you think I should start it or whether there's a particular icon that you think I would really like that I've maybe not considered. We'll see. If you have enjoyed this episode, though, do me a favor, smack that like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye.